you think about industries that are very fraud aware in relation to their, their products being uh, counterfeited, probably the alcohol industry globally has been more aware than anybody else. And a lot of it's about brand reputation making sure that their, their, their brand isn't tainted with some form of, of safety incident across the world that people get poisoned, and they're absolutely correct in that. Governmental agencies also do some testing, but it's very much industry driven. If you take Scotch whisky, Scotch whisky is a brand. It tells you that it is high quality, that it has been produced by using traditional methods by people who are craftsmen. And one of the easiest things in the world is to produce low quality whisky. And with that, there is always a danger that again, somebody might get ill, somebody might get poisoned from drinking one of those very low quality uh, counterfeit products. Whisky is one of the highest value uh, commodities in the alcohol trade. And the, the, the whisky industry, particularly in Scotland, have developed some very, very nice technologies to do that authenticity work without even having to take the whisky from the bottle, they can check that the molecular signature is correct. The wine industries, again across the world, are very, very well tuned into issues of fraud. And there are quite a number of different techniques that are used in relation to doing authenticity work. One of those is actually to look at the fingerprint of the wine to, ter to determine its geographic origin. Quite often that can be isotope based using isotope ratio mass spectrometry. And there is, in Europe, there is a massive now uh, uh, data bank of fingerprints of wines from right across the world. Because wine fraud is actually quite easy to perpetrate. Because all you need to do is to be able to manufacture the bottles that look the same and the labels that look the same. So it's, it's, it's an easy crime to perpetrate, quite difficult to detect. Alcohol fraud is very common. And if you get it wrong, you can kill people. And there was, there was an example of that recently in the Czech Republic, where there was counterfeit vodka was produced and dozens of people died from drinking it because it was contaminated with methanol. So the alcohol industry have looked to, for technologies that will provide some sort of reassurance that the product is authentic. And they've very much used handheld technologies, uh, near infrared in particular, to get a fingerprint of the commodity to make sure that it matches the fingerprint of the authentic material.